right, y'all want to see some silly shit? Look what the hell Tim Scott put out to, to announce his presidential exploratory campaign. On this day, April 12th, 1861, in this harbor, the first shots of the Civil War were fired. And our country faced the defining moment. Would we truly be one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all? America's soul was put to the test and we prevailed. Today, our country is once again being tested. Once again, our divisions run deep and the threat to our future is real. Joe Biden and the radical left have chosen a culture of grievance over greatness. They're promoting victimhood. Um, did a black man literally begin hit? Roll that shit back. Go, go to the beginning. Um, is it queued up? Hit play. Hit play. On this day, April 12th, 1861, in this harbor, the first shots of the Civil War were fired. And our country faced the defining moment. Would we truly be one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all? America's soul was put to the test and we prevailed. Today, our country is once again being tested. Once again, our divisions run deep and the threat to our future is real. Joe Biden and the radical left have chosen a culture of grievance over greatness. They're At that point, we were gonna see some January 6th video. Okay, go ahead, play. Victimhood instead of personal responsibility. And they're indoctrinating our children to believe we live in an evil country. And all too often, when they get called out for their failures, they weaponize race to divide us. Praise. To hold Just in case y'all don't know, his ass is from South Carolina. Do y'all know who first seceded from the Union in the Civil War? South Carolina, hit play. On to their power. When I fought back against their liberal agenda, they called me a prop, a token, because I disrupt their narrative. I threaten their control. They know the truth of my life disproves their lies. Freeze. Uh, first of all, uh, you ain't the only black Republican ever existed. In fact, if there's actually a model for a black Republican, Tim, you ain't him. His name is Senator Ed Brooke. See, yesterday, Tim, we celebrated the 55th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. Do you know who's the co-author of that? Uh, it was two people. Uh, Walter Mondale from Minnesota and Ed Brooke. You the one who stopped the George Floyd Justice Act from moving forward. Go ahead and hit play. See, I was raised by a single mother in poverty. The spoons in our apartment were plastic, not silver. But we had faith. We put in the work and we had an unwavering belief that we too could live the American dream. I know America is a land of opportunity, not a land of oppression. I know it because I've lived it. That's why it pains my soul to see the Biden liberals attacking every rung of the ladder <laughs> that helped me climb. Really? But you ain't said a damn thing about Moms for Liberty taking over school boards in South Carolina and firing black superintendents. Press play. If the radical left gets their way, millions more families will be trapped in failing schools, crime-ridden neighborhoods, and crushing inflation. Freeze. Not Do y'all know how much money South Carolina gets from the federal government? They get more money than they actually send. So South Carolina is actually a welfare state. Just in case Tim left that out of his ad. Hit play. On my watch. This is personal to me. I will never back down in defense of the conservative values that make America exceptional. And that's why I'm announcing my exploratory committee for president of the United States. 
I will defend the Judeo-Christian foundation our nation is built on and protect our religious liberty. I will stand up to communist China and restore opportunities for hardworking Americans to thrive and prosper. I will fight to give every parent a choice in education so their children have a better chance in life. I will defend our borders and our neighborhood streets, and I will protect our most fundamental right, the right to life itself. I bear witness that America can do for anyone what she's done for me, but we must rise up to the challenges of our time. This is a fight we must win, and that will take faith. Faith in God, faith in each other, and faith in America. God bless our United States of America, and God bless you. Which one of y'all wanted to go take a crack first? I would love to start this. <laughs> I, I, the reason I, why I want to start this with de- when D constructs this, I think we're going to have to continue this um, on another day as well, is I was raised Pentecostal. I was raised Church of God in Christ. And what we're seeing here is a rise of black evangelicals. What we and and I use black a little loose here because black this is conser- someone who identifies black, black conservative evangelicals because there well, are black evangelicals uh, who uh, absolutely disagree with everything he just said. But let me break this down. Tim Scott, like Jason Whitlock, they identify primarily as Christian nationalists. Yep. Being black and being a black man is a distant, I can't even say it's a distant second. It might be 20th on their list of identify of identifying factors. So we see this all throughout this a bit through this commercial that he put out, Judeo Christian, which if you talk to people of the Jewish faith, that's a very offensive term. Um, but it's all spread through there with strong conservative evangelical themes. So we're not dealing with someone who identifies primarily as being black. We're identifying someone as a Christian nationalist who rose above the ills of the black community. So I just want to start that there, but I'm going to give the rest of the panelists time to also talk. Because we all got a lot to say about this. Rob, go ahead. Uh, how are you going to do this with like four minutes left in the show, Roller? You know we can talk about this for about three hours. <laughs> but, but this black man went to Fort Sumter, South Carolina and referenced the first shots of the Civil War and did not say one word about slavery. A black man went to where the Civil War began and did not say the word (laughs) slavery, did not talk about the sacrifices of of the people who died and were tortured and killed. He talked about his mother being a single mother in poverty, but didn't talk about how she got into poverty. Are you saying your mom was dumb, Tim? Are you saying she was lazy, that she didn't know how to lift herself up by her own bootstraps, Timmy? Is that what you're saying about your mother? What, what, what the hell is this? Why would you sell yourself out like this just to get beat by 90 points by Ron DeSantis? Um, and, and just in case uh, anybody uh, is confused uh, by, uh, by any of this, if, any, if anybody, uh, like I say, is confused, uh, let me go ahead uh, and uh, I, I just want to just show y'all uh, something real quick. Hold on. Let, let me go ahead and get it set up. Y'all, this literally is what, this is how South Carolina seceded. Go to my iPad. The issue before the country is the extinction of slavery. The Southern states are now in the crisis of their fate. And if we read or write the signs of the times, nothing is needed for our deliverance, but that the ball of revolution be set in motion. Literally, slavery was in their opening line, Joe. But, oh, no, he couldn't mention that one. We're going right ahead. And what's bad is running in the Republican Party, they're not going to hold into account on those issues. So it's going to be interesting to see how much or how little all of that actually comes up. And they'll look at him and say to us, see, you can be like this, too. You know, but the fact of the matter is they're thinking him of him as more of the exception than the rule, more miraculous than indicative. It doesn't make them say there's more like him. It says he's not like the others. So he's not like us. But one thing about presidential campaigns is bad. Uh, You know, uh, they didn't get the 
didn't get the George Floyd Justice with Policing Act done, consistent with what the Republicans wanted to do and not wanted to do. He talked about faith, but faith without works is dead. But GOP politics and politics in general has an ability to amplify weaknesses, point out inconsistencies, and everything else. And the GOP is going to be the GOP. They'll let him come out for five or ten minutes, and then he'll go right back and sit his behind right back where he was, and he'll continue to do the GOP's bidding. And we'll just see how it goes. Just, just so y'all know, um, Robert, go ahead. Just real quick, just as a Judeo Christian, how does he feel about Donald Trump's prostitutes? You know, all the ones he's paying these hundreds of thousands of dollars. Is, is that within his Judeo Christianness, or is he okay with that? Precisely. All right, y'all. I, 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 first of all, y'all, he ain't even polling at 05 percent. So, <laughs> I, I, look, he, look, he ain't got. Uh, right now, Tim, Tim Scott not gonna get above uh, two percent in any poll. Just letting y'all know. But knock yourself out, player. All right, folks. Back to our roadmark unfiltered video in just one month. Curl Prep Natural Solutions. Uh, her product is organic. It's a two-step uh, curl defining system. Uh, this video here, you can check it out. People have been lining up to see the product in action at the hair shows. When they take a seat to try it, they simply don't believe it is their hair. Now, you can, of course, access the products at curlprep.com. Uh, curlprep.com, it works on any hair. It has two steps, uh, sweet butter and uh, sweet defining gel, both at curlprep.com. And parents, you can also, you'll love this system because you can comb the product through your child's hair with your fingers. And of course, our seasoned saints, they love the product as well. It has products that are great for twists, braids, locks, weaves, even those wigs and extensions. Folks, go to curlprep.com. If you use the promo code Roland, you get a 30% discount using the promo code Roland, lowercase R-O-L-A-N-D. Uh, and send, again, go to C-U-R-L-P-R-E-P.com, C-U-R-L-P-R-E-P.com, promo code Roland, 30% discount.